Hello everybody, what is up and how are you doing today? I feel like it's been the longest since I've sat down and filmed a video. I feel like I've had a migraine for a week. Um, I've been a little busy with microblading. If you guys didn't know, I am a microblading artist. I am. Um, I'm just getting my business up off the ground, so that's exciting. If you're interested in following me for microblading, my Instagram is microblading by Kara. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I just feel like it's been forever since I've sat down and filmed a video, so we're just gonna do some makeup today and chat, so let's get into it. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, it really helps me out and I really appreciate um, hearing from you guys. If you guys comment down below, let me know you're a new subscriber so I can thank you because I appreciate it and I'm watching um, and I read all the comments because, you know, I'm small right now so I can do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love to hear from you guys. I love to hear your feedback. Um, and video ideas anything you guys got for me don't be afraid to comment down below um so yeah let's get into it so how was y'all's christmas what did you guys get were you happy what'd you do did you spend time with your family i'm currently squeezing out some foundation i'm gonna mix this full coverage revlon color stay there's like a whole line on it and up there so you can see I'm mixing it They're very close to the same shade um, which probably is still not going to match my face because I'm bad at color matching but I don't like the consistency of this one it's just like it's supposed to be full coverage and it's not yeah when I bought it I was a little bit disappointed but it's fine I'm gonna look behind you guys for a minute because my mirror is behind there and of course I did the grossest part of the mirror where I need to see. Anyway, so I don't like the consistency of that foundation. It's like a, a mousse, I guess. So adding that other foundation makes it more liquidy, I guess. It's not like a liquid by any means. It's a liquid, but it's not like water. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I hope so. I don't make sense sometimes. All right, girl, we are fully covered. We're going to go in with our trusty Maybelline concealer right under the eyeballs and down the nose. Really, really need some new highlighters. I'll show you which one I'm going to use today because I just, like, can I speak right? <laughs> I just picked it up from um, <laughs> Dollar General the other day. This is it, LA Color Strobing, and I've used it a few times, and I don't mind it, but it's like a scam. It makes you think that there's so much in there, right? Then you open it up, and it's got this mirror compact, and then like a little sponge. The actual highlight is like so thin. So once I saw that, I was a little bit bummed, but I mean, if you need a mirror to carry around, I guess you could carry this. But yeah, like I said, I was a little bummed out about it, but it's fine. And it's a more like golden yellow based highlighter. So now I need like a nice icy one. I'm uh, putting setting powder everywhere. I like to put it everywhere because I'm oily and my makeup likes to separate through the day. What are you guys doing for New Year's? Any special plans? I'm just gonna sit home. Alex is off of work, I believe, New Year's Day. So that'll be nice to have him home and um, probably just gonna hang out around the house. Now we're going in with my trusty Lumi Bronze It Bronzer. This is literally the bronzer I use every single day because I just like it and like I said before I don't have a whole bunch of money to be spending on multiple bronzers you guys gotta help me get big so I can get PR <laughs> just kidding but seriously not really <laughs> maybe a little bit I don't know I mean it'd be so nice if I could like gain like it's like, you know, you know, it's everybody's dream to like be someone like James Charles or Manny or any of them, you know, like Nikki tutorials. 
they're so inspiring like even if I don't ever get that big that's not the point of why I'm doing this like I just enjoy sitting down with you guys and doing my makeup and like I don't know you guys are my friends <laughs> so that's why I'm like if you comment like I would love it I would love to hear from you love to hear what you think of the video so if you guys have any suggestions a good full coverage foundation let me know because I need one girl I have acne scarring so bad in my cheek area I'm sure you guys just saw like if you didn't rewind and look again when I had a bare face because I have acne scarring so bad and I've recently just started doing a skincare what <laughs> you just started yes girl I did just start like it was bad I would literally put on makeup for my day at all I would use moisturizer um I would put on my makeup for the day with some moisturizer I would wear it all day I'd sleep in it I'd shower I'd like scrub my face off in the shower and then if there's anything left after the shower baby wipe it and then put on some more makeup for the next day is that cringy or what? <laughs> so I recently discovered a skincare channel. It's called um, Skincare with Hiram, or it might just be Hiram. I think the channel is just Hiram. Um, and if you guys have seen his videos before or checked him out, comment down below. Let me know what you think. He creates um, skincare routines for different big YouTubers, and um, he talks about product lines that he really likes, what is good for your skin, what you need for certain things. Like, so I've been learning a lot and I've been cleansing at night, double cleansing, cause that's what he recommends. Um, I don't have a toner, but I don't think that's super necessary. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you have a toner that you really love and you think it makes a big difference, let me know down below. I really need something to help unclog these pores and yeah so I double cleanse then I use a retinol serum I don't use that every night I use that every other night um my brush down here and that I use just for um I use it to help fade my dark spots that I was just telling you about my acne scars um and then I go in with an acne moisturizer to help acne from forming. And it's got salicylic acid in it. I think that's how you say it. And I think that's supposed to help like fade your skin too. So I took before pictures and I'll obviously have these videos when my skin is like really bad, like doing the makeup before. <laughs> um, so if it works i definitely want to do like a before and after picture and show you picture video and like show you guys what i did um and all that junk like if it worked if you're suffering with the same thing i um find it really helpful to see like before and after videos and for people to like be like oh, okay this is what i did this is how i did it and this is for how long i did it um, it really helps break it down for you and then you see a video so you see like their actual real results because sometimes brands can pay for ads like on Amazon and Walmart and stuff like that. So it's nice to actually see someone like a real person. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know. Hi Kaylee. Hey. Hi. Hey. You guys, I was like looking in the camera at my highlight I'm like gosh it's not blinding and then I looked in the mirror in real life and girl she's there right there <laughs> so I'm gonna use my Morphe X Jeffree Star palette today um with my Morphe X Jeffree Star eye brushes what do you guys think about the eye brushes honestly for the money I feel like I could get like a little elf set and they'd be just as good uh don't sue me don't 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 come after me girl because I love Jeffree Star and I love his products and everything and all of that good stuff but um I feel like you're kind of paying for the name a little bit um with these brushes just because 
like I said, you can get the same type of synthetic brush for a lot cheaper. But you know, I got this as a gift and I'm so grateful for it. So I'm not mad about it, girl. It's just, uh, I can't even think of how expensive they are right now. I haven't used all of the brushes. These are the only two I haven't used, but you know, girl, I was about to go in and do my eyeshadow and I hadn't even done my brows yet. I am, I have a microblading appointment tonight. So we gotta make sure those brows are on fleek, fleek. I feel like because the light, they look exactly the same, but they don't like, they look a little bit different, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our Morphe X Jeffrey palette and all of these brushes. They're dirty because I've used them. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go in with the JS5 first. See, I don't know because I was thinking about doing a halo eye instead of just my boring old little smoky eye looks. I mean, I do smoky eye looks with different colors, but, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try the halo eye. I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of What's the Tea in Calabasas, which is a nice like ruby color, um, and put it this way and this way to leave a little like gap in the middle. I'm looking at myself, which is why I wasn't like looking at the camera. Just so you know, I'm sure you know, but you know. I really like that you don't have to push very hard to really get that pigment on there. Um, and I don't know if that's the brush or the palette. I said in my past video with this palette that um, this is actually my first Morphe palette ever. <gasps> Fred, cool. I'm wearing like a pink shirt today. So I was kind of hoping like the what's the tea would come through a little bit more, but Calabasas is a bit of a darker color. So that was just me, but it's fine. Okay, so I've got that there and I'm gonna take the same brush that I just used and take What's the Tea, which is like a nice like brown light color um, and kind of smoke it up out into the brow area. Um, and then we will do the other side the same way and then we're gonna go in with the color in the middle. All right, here we are with that what's the tea kind of blended up in there and I did kind of cross it like onto the middle of the top because um, I just thought that would be good. And I'm thinking to go in the middle, we're either gonna use designer label or two, which is the third color on the top row of this palette. It's like a nice baby pink shimmery color. And then I think I'm gonna top it with either some silver, silver or some gold glitter. I haven't decided which one yet. I feel like gold would be cute with it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the other eye and then we'll be back. Okay and it's mirrored over here as close as it's gonna get. My kids are here and my dogs are here so if you start hearing background noises I just let you know why. So now I haven't decided if I want to use a concealer in the middle. I definitely think it would make it pop more but I haven't decided. You guys keep seeing my mirror thing. I hope that's not bothering anybody. Um Maybe I will use a concealer just to make it pop more since I'm trying to use a glitter uh, shimmer shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the concealer on both sides and then we're gonna pop on a shade over top. And before I go any further, like to the other eye, I'm gonna take this like sponge right here and I'm just gonna kind of like tap it so there's like a gradient and not a line. Okay, so I definitely decided I'm gonna use gold just because I used a gold highlight. So I think it'll be uh, match well, better, whatever you wanna say, I can't think. I think it'll match better with the look if I use gold in my eyeshadow also. So I haven't decided which one yet. So I think I'm gonna use Dog Mom. It does kind of have silver, silver reflex in it, but I'm gonna go over top of it with millions, which is like glitter. So I think that'll really tie it in. And Dog Mom is a nice peachy shade. So I think it'll pair well with this like maroon I have going on already. So I'm gonna take the JS13 brush and just kind of pack it on there. Okay, so there's with Dog Mom and there's with Elle. I think it looks pretty good. It's gonna look even better too when I put millions on top. So I'm happy I chose that shade. Let's keep going. All right, that's beautiful, I think. What do you think? Would you go on with another shade? Let me know if you would've. Um, now I'm gonna go in with Millions. And because Millions is a shimmer shade and I'm going in with a small area, I'm first gonna try another sponge. 
Um, this is from my other brush set. It's not from the Jeffree Star one, so it doesn't have a number or anything special. Um, but I did do a review on this Amazon brush set, so if you're interested, definitely go check that video out. Um, I'm going to use this to pack on millions to see if it works. If it doesn't, I might just have to use my finger to pick it up. So let's see. All right, picked up pretty nicely. Still focusing on my face and not the brush. I don't know. It picked up nicely. Let's see if it'll apply nicely too. Yes, girl. Oh, you can't see it. Just wait. Just wait. All right, and there we are. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out the bottom brow highlight and then do an inner corner highlight. All right, so I popped on some liquid lip. I put on some mascara. I'm also gonna put on some lashes and I'm gonna pop on Rylan from the Jeffrey at Shane collection. Okay, so this angle might be a tad different because my baby just came over here and knocked everything over. Um, I don't remember where I left off. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and pop Rylan over this and then um, put on my lashes. I really love these lipsticks. This is the only one I have from the Shane X Jeffrey collection. I can't wait until they come back out because literally root beer is my favorite and it smells just like root beer. Like it's amazing. Okay, I like the way that looks. Um, and if you guys are ever interested in like the products that I use, if I don't mention them whenever I'm doing it, let me know. I can always start linking them down below. Uh, I just don't because I've never had any comments asking. But if you guys are interested, comment down below. Let me know and I will start doing that. So let's do the lashes. I'm going to do those off camera because I swear they take me the longest. I might just like say screw it too. We'll see. We will see. You guys, am I getting good at fake lashes? Who am I? What? Yes, girl. Yes. Practice makes almost, almost perfect. I'm going to go in with my little fan brush just to finish this off. And... Highlight my top lip. Alrighty guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you had um, fun sitting here and talking to me and um, catching up, chatting. Um, make sure you subscribe so you can catch me in the next one. Um, I hope you can really see like, let me see here, how like good I did on these lashes. I'm pretty proud. <laughs> I feel like this light is like washing me out though. See, maybe if we like did this, is that better? I don't know, you tell me. I'm gonna let my hair down. Okay, the hair is down because the look is not completed without the hair down, right? <laughs> if you have watched any of my videos before, you know. So yeah, I'm really happy with this look. I honestly am still not feeling good. I know I mentioned at the start of this video that I felt like I have had a migraine for a week. I'm still feeling that way, and honestly, I feel like I could go to sleep right now, but I have to do eyebrows tonight, and now I have all this makeup on, so that's definitely not happening. Um, I need to go clean, honestly, so that's probably what I'm going to go do. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like little get ready with me videos, let me know because that's basically all I do anyway. <laughs> um, or if you have any other video ideas, let me know. I got, I mean, I didn't get a lot of views on my TikTok makeup video, but I got more than normal. So if you guys like those types of videos, definitely let me know down below so I could do more of those. Hi. Hi. So I could do more of those. Um, or if you want to see vlogs, I haven't vlogged in a while, let me know. I actually think I have one that's not been edited. I might throw it up here, um, one day this week. So yeah, let me know. You're going to say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Yay! Alrighty, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.